Hey everyone, welcome back to YY Healthy Lifestyles Living, the place where we find inspiration and motivation to conquer life's challenges. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss our empowering content. Have you ever wondered what causes depression, that deep-seated feeling of sadness and despair? Depression, a prevalent mental health issue, can be triggered by a plethora of factors. From physical and emotional abuse to aging, changes in the brain, grief, genetic predispositions, gender, illness, certain medications, specific personality traits, and substance abuse, each of these can play a significant role in the onset of depression. Understanding these causes can be the first step towards managing and overcoming depression. Some causes of depression might be closer to home than you think. Life's painful experiences like abuse can have a profound impact on our mental health. Whether it's physical, verbal, or mental, abuse can leave deep emotional scars that increase the risk of depression. This isn't just conjecture, it's backed by numerous studies showing a significant correlation between abuse and depression. Now, let's talk about age. As we get older, the risk of depression can increase. Many seniors regularly experience loneliness, often due to a lack of social interaction or a sense of lost purpose when they retire. This loneliness can sow the seeds of depression, underlining the importance of social connection and purpose at every stage of life. These factors show how our experiences and life stage can significantly influence our mental health. Depression can also be a result of changes within our bodies and minds. When depression takes hold, our brain undergoes certain alterations. Inflammation causes our bodies to produce higher levels of translocator proteins, and individuals who have battled depression for over a decade tend to have elevated levels of these proteins. Additionally, the gray matter in our brains can shrink, affecting how we process information and perceive the world around us. Another significant trigger for depression can be the grief from losing a loved one. The emotional devastation and feelings of abandonment that follow such a loss can lead to depression, impacting our mental well-being significantly. Our brains and emotions play a pivotal role in our mental well-being, as shown by these causes of depression. Some things are beyond our control, like our genes, gender, and health conditions. Genetics play a role in our susceptibility to depression. If someone in your family has had depression, your chances of experiencing it may increase. Yet it's not as simple as a single depression gene. A multitude of genes, each contributing a little, come together to influence our likelihood of developing depression. Being female can also increase the risk. Women are twice as likely to experience depression as men. Hormonal changes during puberty, premenstrual syndrome, pregnancy, postpartum and menopause can all be triggering factors. Moreover, serious illnesses, such as cancer or severe head injuries, can lead to depression due to emotional upheaval and drastic lifestyle changes. These factors underscore the multifaceted nature of depression which can be influenced by our biological makeup and health. Our lifestyle choices and even the medications we take can also contribute to depression. A variety of medications, including those that treat high blood pressure, migraines, irregular heartbeats, and even Parkinson's disease, can exacerbate symptoms of depression. It's crucial to communicate openly with your healthcare provider about how your medications may be affecting your mood and overall mental health. Interestingly, our personality traits can also predispose us to depression. Traits such as hypersensitivity, shyness, perfectionism, and a tendency towards self-focus can make individuals more susceptible to this mental health condition. It's essential to recognize these traits within ourselves and understand how they might influence our mental well-being. Lastly, let's talk about substance abuse. Many people struggling with depression turn to substances as a way to cope with their feelings. However, this often leads to a vicious cycle, as substance abuse can worsen depression and make it more difficult to treat. The Addiction Center estimates that one-third of individuals with depression also struggle with alcoholism, underscoring the deep connection between these two issues. These causes remind us that our choices and circumstances can have a profound impact on our mental health. Depression is a complex condition with various causes. It's a labyrinth composed of many paths, abuse, age, brain changes, grief, family history, gender, illness, medications, personality, and substance abuse. From the cruelty of abuse, the solitude of age, the altering landscape of our brain, to the devastating blow of grief, each plays a role in the emergence of depression. Our genetic makeup, the hormones that define our gender, and the unexpected news of illness can all contribute to this maze. Even the very medications we take to heal can sometimes deepen the darkness. Our personality traits and how we cope with life 
perhaps through substance abuse, can also lead us into this labyrinth. Yet through understanding these causes we can find the exit. Remember, understanding is the first step to overcoming. If you or someone you know is struggling with depression, seek professional help. Thank you for joining me today on Healthy Lifestyles Living. Remember, in the face of adversity, never give up. You are capable of achieving amazing things. Stay determined, stay focused, and keep chasing your dreams. You are not alone, and help is available.